So, summer makeup. I think the best thing to do is to start with a really simple base. And I recommend using a tinted moisturizer. That way you're gonna give some color to your face without looking heavy. And also, um, most people tan their bodies and not their faces. So this way you can put color into your face to match your body without having a really heavy foundation. And then just go in with your concealer and fix anything you need to fix, which is usually under the eyes a little bit. And work in your T-zone. The nose, top of the nose. And this is a, works as a highlight too on top of the lip chin and through the cheekbone and that's going to give you a really nice fresh highlight look and cover anything that needs covering. If you have a little darkness under your eyes or unevenness in your complexion. And another tip is take a little highlight on a brush and just put it where the light would naturally hit your face. Tip your nose. It's fine if the nose, the tip of your nose is shiny. You don't want the sides of your nose to be shiny because that just looks Greasy. It doesn't look shiny. <laughs> that means you need to powder your nose. A little bit on your chin and on the forehead here. And that will give you a really nice sun-kissed look. Blend it all out. Blending is really important. I like to keep two nude shades on the eyes for summer. It's really fresh. And it really looks, gives you a really nice fresh look without looking made up. And something with a little shine to it is going to give you a glow. I'm using a brown liner instead of black. It's just softer, and it still gives you a good definition to the lash line. So if you just place it as close to the lash as possible and bring it out on the corner of the eye a little bit. Then I like to take a flat brush and brush it out so you lose the hard line and it smokes it up a little bit. All right, cheeks. I'm gonna use a little contour, just because for photography, you really want these bones to show up. And it's something you might want to do for the evening, but not for day. It's a little heavy. I like to use a lighter blush on the top of the cheekbone and brush it out into the temple. A nice soft pink. It works. This color works on everybody, it's amazing. A little on the chin. A little on your nose because that's where the sun's going to hit you naturally and into the hairline, even if you wear bangs. And even put a little on your neck. It just gives you a really nice, fresh, rosy glow. And then I like to take a warmer color. This one's quite warm, so you have to be quite terribly careful. And just on the apples. And this gives you, like you've just come off the beach. Put a little under your eye because it will cancel any blueness if you have under your eye. And then you don't get that raccoony look. I'm really into, I'm off of lip gloss these days, and I'm really into lipstick. I find lipstick, lip gloss is so gummy, and you don't want to kiss anybody with lip gloss on. So a really nice lipstick is great, and you can blot it, and it doesn't have that really goopy, shiny, wet look. It's just a more of a natural, fresh look. And I would avoid liner unless you really need it. Liner can be really hard. But if you do have, you know, your lips are maybe not well defined or you like to extend them, you can use a bit of liner. But use a nude color. Amber has great lips. And you can see how that looks so natural and like she's not even wearing lipstick really. Which is when I think it looks best. Unless you go red, something dramatic. There's a lot of tinted lip balms out there too, which are great with SPF in them, which you might want to consider using if you're going to be in the sun. And that's it beautiful, fresh summer face.